is drawn each year, and to the heart the details run true, and with delicate lines. Each curve is named from A to L. Each encampment has upon it a label, placed as if to lay with words a crown, so all would know and come. These names are known to many, some drip from lips with sour notes, others tingle, as if Brother Perignon himself had poured upon their tongues his stars. And some upon the ground do fall and crumble, shatter, and become the dust that lays the blankets of these times, so richly poured on minds laid bare. The man, if eyes he had, could look down upon stick-built knaves and see the teams of revelers in due course happen upon such places. Be it day or eve, they take it in, and move along to the siren sound of what next does call them. To those whose dreams doth wander to the frayed far edges off the map, far from camps whose names well known to many, to seek, to find, to chance upon, be it by mind stirred, by heart throbs born of tender touch, or troubled souls, thirsty to taste anew and bring about within themselves, to be reborn with that they have always known. But until this journey, this wisdom shrouded, as if dust did fly and hide the truth. In unnamed pods, rising swiftly as with Merlin's touch. And the man, though squinty might, shall never see, his focus blinded by distractions laid upon his feet. He shall never hear the whispers made where the map doth end. He shall never see the beauty of me and you, born today, to know each other this year and next and always. The man, a pinpoint from these far-off lands, his spirit felt at this distance. No arm can throw a rock so far. To toss and run and toss again, though many times he shall not be reached. These roads where sound does fade into a heart thump slight, and only few the cars of art at night explore. If time be invested to travel so far, as if to reach the road of eye, whereupon the clock does chime two and forty-five, it is here, with those who burn and influence a camp doth sit, and each morph while still the same. A core unto it ripe with welcome arms does watch others come and go, and the tales told of strangers whose feet and wheels have brought them here does cause the mouth to curl up, the heart to raise seeing home so pure, so clear. And then, alas, retreat does fall upon us all, and as we take our leave from home, we know that though home we leave, and wind erase our deepest scar, that not time, nor space, nor upon defaults return, it calls us back. Home, home is where we must return. <laughs>